What's going on gamers? Today we're going to go over how to fix disabled multiplayer in Minecraft. Getting started in Minecraft to play with friends and family can prove to be difficult for some users. These issues may vary, but a common one is multiplayer being disabled. This can happen on PC or Xbox, resulting in the player's inability to join servers, online worlds, or realms. Solving this is easier than you think though, so let's go over how to fix it so you can start playing with your friends. There's one method for the official Minecraft launcher, another for Xbox, and then one acting as a universal way to fix the issue. However, it all boils down to your account or device setup, so you can focus on whichever one is going to relate to you the most. For those using the Minecraft launcher on their PC, the first thing you can do is check that you're using the correct account when connecting to the launcher. In cases where you're using the wrong type, it could be the cause of the multiplayer disabled issue. However, if this doesn't work, you've got something else holding you back and you can try this next step instead. Whether you're on PC or console, having a Microsoft family account might explain the multiplayer issue. This is due to the real possibility of your settings blocking any server connection. Solving this situation requires you to sign into the family account at the link down below. And after that, you'll have to start editing options that impact multiplayer experiences, such as allowed apps, online settings, and more. Now, players using Xbox to play Minecraft multiplayer might need to enable online capabilities for their account. This is achieved by enabling the You Can Join Multiplayer Games option from the Xbox account settings page in the device online safety category. Repeat this process for all of the accounts that are impacted to resolve the issue, and you should be able to join. When players typically encounter Minecraft multiplayer being disabled, it means the account settings were changed for safety reasons. Whether this was done on purpose or not, that's likely the case, but it can also be as simple as using the wrong account. If this randomly happened, then we heavily recommend reaching out to your account owner, parent, or guardian since they might have changed it for any reason. Otherwise, you can always contact Microsoft if you think that your account was compromised. As always, if you want to stay up to date with all of our future videos, make sure to like, subscribe, and click that notification bell, and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more great content like this, then subscribe or click these videos. Until next time, gamers.